If the universe is infinite, how can my brain even try to understand it? Have you ever looked up at the night sky and your brain just kind of crashes like, holy shit, where does it even end? That question isn't a joke, man. Our brains were built to understand things with limits, but the universe, it's got none. In real labs, neuroscientists found the human brain can't even visualize beyond three dimensions. It's like trying to run an 8K game on a 2000 era graphics card. But here's the thing, that's exactly what makes us different from machines. Because even when the brain can't reach it, our consciousness still tries to. In biology, some researchers say every single cell in your body acts like a tiny antenna picking up signals from the energy around you, meaning consciousness might not live in your head at all. It might flow through your whole body, connected to everything in the universe. At the same time, modern neuroscience shows that when you're completely still, your brain and heart can sink into one rhythm, something called a coherent state, a moment when humans can actually sense something bigger than themselves. So what if the universe isn't what you see with your eyes, but a massive field of information your brain's decoding every single second? Some physicists say if the universe is made of information, then we're part of that code. So when we try to understand the universe, it's really the universe trying to understand itself through us. No one really knows where the edge of it all is, but one thing's clear. The edge of the human mind keeps expanding every time we dare to ask. Maybe what we think of as beyond the brain isn't too big for us to reach. Maybe it's because what we're trying to understand is the very thing that built our brains in the first place. Shadow Facts Documentary